Morning everyone, it's 6 a.m. and I'm in the Essex countryside. I've just spent the night out in my hammock and uh, had a pretty good night's sleep. Pretty good. Um, so I've got a coffee on the go and uh, I thought I'd just take a moment before I pack away to show you my kit. So this is my setup. I've taken the tarp down already, but uh, I wanted to be able to show you without the tarp in the way how I've got this rigged up. So what you see here is a DD frontline hammock, all set up, and it's got the DD under blanket attached as well. I've had to make some mods uh, just to make sure that the under blanket works properly. And uh, what I've done is sewn a tag in the middle just there so that I can connect the middle of the under blanket to it um, that way if it uh, goes right down it uh, stays and keeps the form of the hammock itself without popping up maybe it's because I'm not fitting it properly I'm not sure um, <clears throat> the under blanket came without the right amount of bungees so I was really confused for a while there how it worked and uh, it turns out I was missing three so anyway I spoke to DD up in Scotland and they got me all sorted out and uh, we're all good now so what have I done all right let's take you through the ridge line so standard paracord and uh, I'll take you up to one end show you what I've got there is paracord ridge line underneath it is the elastic from the top of the bug net on the hammock I've got uh, a night eyes carabiner on a prussic loop I've got another night eyes carabiner at that end <coughs> taking you down uh, so more prussic loops with carabiners on just there and that's for attaching the tarp to and then I'll come back to these bits in a moment another one and up in the corner there you see the uh, the other night eyes uh, carabiner I can't remember what they call it it's something like a uh, figure nine or figure eight something like that but uh, it seems to do the job holds the tarp line in place and then I've got hammock straps from Henge Hammocks which I'm still getting used to using these but they're pretty good I had some stretching uh, when I got in it last night probably doesn't help that I'm a fat sod but uh, <laughs> it's okay got these lightweight carabiners which I got from Go Outdoors I think but they're okay and that's about it I think the uh, using the elastic from the top of the bug net to keep it up and what I've done is run it through a carabiner so directly above it just to give it some uh, vertical lift so what I could have done was tied off the elastic to the actual ridge line but I had so much elastic left over I thought I'd just run it all the way through uh, little drip string there on the elastic and then the hench hammocks whoopee slings which uh, again just getting used to these I got these off uh, hench hammocks on eBay I think but they're pretty good pretty good okay there we are on the inside of the hammock what I did oh so I should show you that now that's the snake skin for covering up the hammock when I've uh, put it away uh, another tab on that side in the middle I've added a couple of uh, bright orange paracord zip pulls and then on the inside is a long 
paracord zip pull so that I haven't got to tie myself up in knots when I want to close the hammock up at night and um, so what you can do just pull it towards you to get it closed and then if you put your foot up in the middle of the paracord you can push it away from you to get it all zipped up again um, inside the hammock I have put in I can't remember what you call this thing but uh, anyway it's just a length of paracord at the top which um, has two purposes really firstly it stops the middle of the bug net dropping down onto you and secondly you can hang things off it so what I had on there was a small gear bag just to put my phone in and uh, I've hung my uh, headlamp off it as well okay right well if you're still there and you're not bored silly thanks ever so much I'm going to get back to this cup of coffee over here and uh, get on with the rest of my day okay everyone thanks for being with me it's uh, early in the morning and uh, I was woken up by a little bit of sunshine and the bird song this morning cheers <laughs>